Oh look, I seem to have two competitor shoulder planes here. I wonder what's... <laughs> ah, fuck it, you already know. Welcome to Tool Duel. So as with all tool jewels, not a lot of difference between them, but there could be one little feature on one of these that could be the selling point for you. So let's get in close and see what we're looking at here. So what we're looking at here is the medium model of both shoulder planes. So the Lee Nielsen one has a larger one and a smaller one. Look exactly the same as this, just scaled either up or down. The different sizes of Veritas look ever so slightly different, so this one kind of looks the prettiest to me. The bigger one kind of looks like the front of a train and the smaller one is sort of more curvy, so they're not all uniform when you get them together, which is a bit of a shame. So minus one point to Veritas, I don't like the fact that you can't get uniform tools. That's a personal issue of mine, don't worry about that one. So differences between these that actually matter on the back here, you can see that these shoulder planes use the same adjustments that the low angle jack planes used in my bench plane tool jewel video previously. So on the Veritas one, we're working with a Norris style adjuster. So the thrust wheel moves the blade in and out and it also moves it side to side. Veritas one, you move the blade side to side with your fingers and you move it in and out with the thrust wheel on it. Now my verdict in the bench plane video wasn't very um, conclusive, should we say. So it's the same thing for these. It's just whichever one you find suits your needs the best. In terms of bed angles, the Veritas here is about 15 degrees by my own experiments and the Lee Nielsen one is 18 degrees. And I tested this using my lovely bevel box, which I had zero to the bed beforehand. Without wanting to plug it too much, I would always recommend that song because you will find a use for it everywhere in your workshop. But like I say, bed angles on these, because the Veritas is 15 degrees, it means that it is going to be ever so slightly better on end grain as opposed to the 18 degrees on the Lee Nielsen one. Very, very small difference, so it's probably not going to make that much of a change, but it's good to know there is a difference between them. So now if we look at the sides of them, so the locking action on these shoulder planes works exactly the same. You've got a thumb screw here that you loosen and that pivots the lever cap to provide pressure on top of the blade. So that works exactly the same on both of these, but there is a strong difference in the lever cap itself. You can see on the Lee Nielsen one, we've got a big sweeping curve here. And on the Veritas one, we've got this little knob on top here and more of a sort of angled feel to it. So starting with the Lee Nielsen one, this lever cap allows you to put a lot of pressure on top of the tool during its use, which makes it really great for reducing the depth of rebates, for example, where the tool's most likely to be clamped in the vise and you're working on top of it like that. The Veritas one transferred the pressure behind the tool rather than on top of it like the Lee Nielsen one here. So you can see that this sweeping curve here fits in the palm of my hand like that, and I can grip it like that and even put my little finger through the hole there, and that means that I can use this tool one-handed. Furthermore, this little knob on top means that I can pivot it sideways and grip behind the stun wheel here and give me something to push through the wood with. So for that reason, I kind of find the Veritas a little bit more versatile. I'm very rarely reducing the depth of rebates, but I am using shoulder planes on their side quite a lot. And being able to pivot that thumb wheel and also push the tool from behind makes it so easy. The Lee Nielsen one, when I was trying it out, I was struggling to find a place to actually hold it when it was on its side like that. There's not really anywhere to actually hold this very easily. In terms of blades available for them, again, it's the same as all Veritas and Lee Nielsen arguments. You only get A2 available with Lee Nielsen. Again, correct in the UK, not sure about America. With Veritas, you get 01, A2, PMV11. If you don't know the difference between them, look at the video up here, which will appear in the card. And that is me comparing all three of the steels. And like I said, in that video, I'm using O1 in my shoulder plane here. You'll have to watch it to find out why. Also on the side of the shoulder planes, you'll see that the Veritas has the grub screws that share the same advantages as they did in the bench planes. Just means that you can either grab the blade with it or use them as locators. So when you put the blade into it, it means that you don't have to set the lateral movement of it again. These grub screws will hold it in exactly the same position you had it in as you took it out before. And that pretty much covers all the differences between them. Both of them have adjustable mouths, so if you loosen that screw there and adjust this, it'll move the mouth in and out so you can take heavier or finer cuts. But that's pretty much it. So there we go. That is the differences between the shoulder planes. Question is, which one do I like? Veritas, straight up. It's got a lot more adjustments on it. The fact that this thumb wheel is pivotable, pivotable, pivotable. We'll go with that word. Um, <laughs> the fact that that is pivotal means that it is so versatile to use. I use shoulder planes quite a lot on their side. When I'm trimming the shoulders on tenons, for example, and I don't want to clamp it upright in the vise, I want to have it on the side, being able to use it like that is really nice. The Lee Nielsen one here, there's just no easy way to grip it when it's on its side. On top, 
great, really nice and comfy, but on its side, not doing it for me. Also, the fact that I've got an O1 blade in here is a big advantage for me. Again, if you want to know the differences between the O1, A2, P and V11, be sure to watch my video comparing those. That is going to be in the description. But yeah, any questions, obviously, beyond what I've said in this video, send them to me in the comments section or on Twitter, for example. Hopefully that helped. See you next time.